crochet around it so it's gonna be fine so here we will skip one two three four five on the sixth um on the like uh, left um double crochet of the sixth um uh, v stitch we're gonna uh pass the the blue yarn through and yes we will chain three and on the next uh, V we will keep the same and yes yeah, so um, we will continue this until um, it uh, has uh, six of uh, V stitches on the other side okay to the end of this row So here we finish so until we have six and on the uh, now the right uh, double crochet of the sixth stitch we will make a double crochet and yes now we can cut this yarn and we can go to the following color which is pink and yes again we will um, make another increasement so here on the first V, on the like the left uh, double crochet of the first V, we will put our yarn and then we will chain three and yes, just continue with the double crochet, chain one, double crochet, next double crochet, chain one, double crochet, and we will stop. Uh, like on the same uh, like not to the end of the row but until we have one uh, V stitch in the last um, in the last stitch of this row So yes, like I told you guys, here finishing the this row, we'll make just a double crochet on the uh, right um, double crochet of the first V of the previous row. And then we can cut yarns and we will go back to the blue color and we will keep in uh, decreasing like that um, for 11 rows in total. So yes, mine last row uh, is with 31 uh, little V stitches. So yes, guys, we just just continue like that and always alternating the colors. We follow the same sequence and for um, 11 rows in total. So we need to make more nine because we did already two of the decreasement and yes here again just showing you we skip the first V and on the left um, double crochet of this V stitch we gonna put attach our new color um, and we will just do the same chain three and double crochet inside um, the next the following V and then we chain one and then another double crochet in the same so yes um, let's continue this and we come back when it's all done so here guys our sleeve it's almost ready but yes like the base is ready already so just to show you guys so this last row blue row 
it has 31 V stitches and yes yeah, swim like this will be uh, will have a beautiful fit um, it's a beautiful puff sleeve and yes now we have to sew the uh, like the interior of our sleeve so on the uh, inside side we will make this it's a very simple so I show on my um, Antonieta blouse Antonieta top video so we attach the yarn then we uh, chain three and we always get on the very beginning of very row every row and yeah we make a slip stitch and then we chain three and on the beginning of uh, the next row we get one side and the other side the beginning of the blue row and we make a slip stitch chain three and we will make the same now in the pink until uh, we finish this sewing okay So here we are finishing the seal, we can cut the yarn and I'll show you guys this, I think it's the best way that we can sew this together. And yes, yeah, so we have a lot of um, ends to wave, but first I will show you guys now, um, yes, the finishing of our sleeve so we will with the pink yarn so now on the right side okay we are facing the right side and we will uh, put the yarn through and then we will chain one and now we will make like in every stitch um, one single crochet. So this row uh, will be uh, all of single crochets. So we will keep like that until we get to the top of our sleeves. That is the last uh, blue row, okay? So here guys we did until our last V stitch row and here we will start um, decreasing and like to make it like uh, very cute puff sleeves. So I'm, I'm gonna make just on top of every um, every double crochet we make a single uh, crochet and we're not gonna make in the um, in the chain that we made uh, between um, um, the two double crochets uh, that make the V stitches so this will like um, make like a drape um, on top of our puff sleeves and with, it will help to decrease uh, for the next uh, row too. And then when you finish that, the, the top, we just continue to the end on simple single crochet like we did the whole uh, row. And now uh, we uh, make another 
row of single crochet but then we will skip one in all around um, this uh, the top this um, armhole of the sleeves so all around this we will uh, skip uh, one and uh, make a single crochet in the next so here we finish and now we can start our uh, little popcorn stitch or picos we will make a um, slip stitch three slip stitches that chain three and a slip stitch on the same um, uh, stitch and yes and then uh, three slip stitches chain three and a slip stitch on the same stitch so we'll continue like that to um, the top of our um, sleeves so the that last blue row of V stitches and then I'm gonna show you guys uh, how we can make more increase uh, decrease and that will have help us like to make the perfect shape for uh, this sleeve so yes here we we did to the top of our sleeve so the last blue row here we will skip one and then we will uh, make three slip stitches two three then again three uh, chain three is lip stitch on the same then we skip one on the second we make three slip stitches and then chain three and a slip stitch on the same so basically it's the same we just skip the first stitch and this will um, decrease more stitches for our puff sleeve so yes we just gonna do that on the very top of sleeves that is the blue uh, last row and then we can continue just simple without skipping any any stitch for uh, the the to the end of this row okay So here we finish our row of finishing and yes, like the top uh, part of our sleeves are ready and it's beautiful and we uh, will now wa uh, wave all the ends, like make it very clean, that's essential to at least I think that's essential for our work and it make uh, easier okay so just wave uh, the ends I'm waving I like to wave um, on the single crochet row I think it like holds better and yes yeah, just wave all the ends okay guys So here after wave all the ends we have our sleeve almost ready now we will make a thread uh, to adjust our sleeve so we can put the sleeve aside and we will make a thread of uh, 90 centimeters of chains okay So 
Here we have 90 centimeters. And now we will wave it on this um, the bottom part of our sleeve. And yes, I want to put a uh, like to tie the bow uh, on top of the sleeve. So I'm gonna start to waving from the top. And yes, we just put our yarn through and like up and under, up and under all around um, the hemline of the sleeve, okay? So here guys we finish and here I tied the bow already. It's very delicate and now I'm gonna make a tassel to put on the ends and yes you can check my Antonietta blouse uh, video to see how I make the tassel but it's really simple and yes we need to make two uh, sleeves of course so you follow the same steps for the both sleeves and now we will saw the sleeves on the um, front part it's very simple so we will saw um, like where is the saw of the sleeves and here we're gonna put like uh, two centimeters each side and yes, we just saw like four centimeters on the very beginning of the um, front part. And yes, we make a knot. And here I'm gonna make my saw in uh, the same way I did uh, on the sleeve. So we chain three and then we make us uh here i made a single crochet but doesn't matter either a single crochet or um a slip stitch and yes it's done we can cut the yarn and wave it really well because this part needs to be like um very firm so yes just wave to make your work uh clean And yes, guys, of course, we will uh, make the same thing on the other side. So here you can see uh, our top. It's like almost ready. It's very, very cute. And yes, just make the same thing on the other side. The saw is very simple. You, you saw me doing, we just gonna saw like two centimeters each side of the saw of the sleeves so now we're gonna make a thread uh, to tie the top part of the sleeves it would make my um our top safer and yes our sleeves will not drop on our shoulders so we will att attach um, uh, um i chose the pink yarn and yes we will chain for 50 centimeters so it's the same thing on both sides we chain 50 centimeters and of course i'm gonna put a tassel in the end too to make it like a better finishing and uh, our blouse will be safer so here I finish 50 centimeters with the tassel, same thing on the other side, and we can um, tie this, uh, this thread and our top will be safer. These leaves will not drop from the shoulders. 
and yes now we basically finished we just need to make the back part and the back part is really really simple too and yes we will turn our work and now we will make a big chain because our back will be naked just with the crossing threads like we're just gonna tie the, tre the thread on the back and yes we chain for five meters okay now I'm go uh, I'm using the little popcorn stitches and we will pass the yarn through so I'm skipping um, three in the middle and then when I come back I go in the very one in the middle um yes it's it's very simple guys it's just like you were tying a shoe and uh we just cross the yarn and yes um our blouse it's finally ready i put some tassels in the end too so that's it guys i really hope you have enjoyed the tutorial of this week um and if you like it, please uh, subscribe on my channel. This way you help me grow in. And every week I'm going to post a new uh, tutorial video. And that's it. Thank you very much. And see you next week.